Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this. Uh, the same person I was helping to ask how you would cut this out. And there's a couple of different ways to kind of look at this. Because these are different parts, there's actually a, a uh, power clip and two flowers or three pieces of the flower, but they're all broken apart. You can select everything and go to the boundary tool and make a boundary around it, and there's your cut line. But you could also do this. You could left click or right click on the pen tool, and it'll take away that line, and you would get a totally different look. We'd have to do a couple things to make the interior cut out, but that would be one way to do it. The other way you could uh, do what we want to do for real, let's say, Let's take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that spot and let's nudge it to the opposite direction. And then we could take these and we could left click, no fill, right click in red, just make sure they're hairlines. And then when you do this over here, that will cut out. And then you could take this and left click, or excuse me, right click, no outline or no pen tool. And then you could nudge that over. So that'll cut out and look like a, a B uh, because, you know, the shape of it, you don't have to have that line around there, but it'll cut away, you know, stay around the outside of the flower and engrave everything else. This would be a really cool font and you could do this to every letter uh, very simply. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.